Good day Forex traders. Your USD Forex signal, bears set to prevail ahead of ADP data. The pair will likely maintain the bearish trend as bears target the next key support level at 1.1563. Bearish view. Sell the your USD and set a take profit at 1.1563. Add a stop loss at 1.1670. Timeline, 1 to 2 days. Bullish view. Set a buy stop at 1.1625 and a take profit at 1.1700. Add a stop loss at 1.1550. The EURUSD was little changed after the latest services BMI numbers from the Eurozone and the United States. The pair rose to 1.1610, which was slightly higher than last week's low of 1.1560. Services Data and Inflation the services sector in the eurozone did better than expected in September. According to market, the bloc's services BMI declined from 59.0 in August to 56.4 in September. This decline was better than the median estimate of 56.3. As a result, the composite BMI that also includes the manufacturing sector, dropped to 56.2. Meanwhile, the services sector in the U.S. did relatively well as the country continued to reopen. Data by market showed that the services BMI declined from 55.1 in August to 54.9. More data by the Institute of Supply Management, ISM, showed that the non-manufacturing BMI rose from 61.7 to 61.9. These numbers show that the services sector in the Eurozone and the U.S. is doing relatively well. Besides, the two regions have boosted their vaccination rates in the past few months. The EURUSD tilted upwards as the US dollar declined overall. The US dollar index declined by 0.1% in the overnight session as market tensions eased. The decline coincided with the sharp rebound in American equities as the Dow Jones and Nasdaq 100 indices rose by more than 400 points. Meanwhile, the pair also reacted to the rising commodity prices. In the past few weeks, the price of crude oil has surged to a seven-year high of $82. Natural gas has surged while the price of cotton and other commodities has jumped substantially. The EURUSD will react to the latest Eurozone retail sales numbers. Economists expect the data to show that sales rose by 0.8% in August after crashing by 2.3% in July. The pair will also react to the ADP employment numbers. Your USD forecast. The Your USD pair is trading at 1.1610, which is a few points above last week's low of 1.1563. On the 4-hour chart, the pair is slightly below the key resistance level at 1.1663, which was the lowest level in August. The pair is also slightly below the 25-day moving average. Therefore, the pair will likely maintain the bearish trend as bears target the next key support level at 1.1563. GBP USD Forex signal, bearish below $1.3575. The British pound is holding up relatively well against a strong USD. Today's GBP USD signals. Risk 0.75%. Trades may only be entered prior to 5 p.m. London time today. Short trade idea. Go short following a bearish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of 1.3687. Put the stop loss 1 pip above the local swing high. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Take off 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to run. Long trade ideas. Go long following a bullish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of 1.3577, 1.3527 or 1.3502. Put the stop loss 1 pip below the local swing low. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Take off 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to run. The best method to identify a classic price action reversal is for an hourly candle to close, such as a pin bar, a dodgy, 
an outside or even just an engulfing candle with a higher close. You can exploit these levels or zones by watching the price action that occurs at the given levels. GBP USD Analysis I wrote that as bulls and bears were quite evenly balanced over the short to medium term, with key support holding at 1.3527, and key resistance holding at 1.3577. I saw the best strategy for trading this currency pair today as waiting for two consecutive higher hourly closes above 1.3577 to trigger a bullish bias, or two consecutive hourly closes below 1.3527 to trigger a bearish bias. This was a good call as once the bullish trigger arrived, the price rose by another 15 pips or so over the rest of the day. The US dollar remains strong, but the British pound is holding up relatively well against it. This suggests that bullish movements are likely to be more interesting than bearish movements here, but there is little momentum in either direction right now. Just like last Monday, the flipping support slash resistance level at 1.3577 is likely to be the day's major pivotal point. I will be happy to take a long trade from a bullish bounce at 1.3577 if it sets up later today. If we get a strongly bullish hourly candlestick during the first half of today's London session which closes above $1.3650, we will be likely to see the price continue to advance to hit at least the resistance level at $1.3687 by today's New York close. Regarding the USD, there will be a release of the ADP non-farm employment forecast at 1.15 p.m. London time, followed by crude oil inventories at 3.30 p.m. There is nothing of high importance scheduled concerning the GBP. AUD USD Forex signal, buyers in control for now. The pair will likely keep rising as bulls target the next key resistance level at 0.7350, which is slightly above the first resistance. Bullish view. Buy the AUD USD and set a take profit at 0.7390, 23.6% retracement. Add a stop loss at 0.7250. Timeline, 1 to 2 days. Bearish view. Set a sell stop at 0.7250 and a take profit at 0.7150. Add a stop loss at 0.7350. The AUD USD pair rose in the overnight session as investors reacted to the rising bond yields and the Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA, interest rate decision. The pair rose to 0.7300, which was significantly higher than last week's low of 0.7170. Australian Dollar Rallies The US dollar declined in the overnight session even as the American bond yields continued rallying. The yield on the 10-year rose to 1.52% while the 30-year rose to 2.093%. Similarly, in Australia, the yield on the 10-year rose to 1.54%. This increase in bond yields is mostly because analysts expect that consumer prices will keep rising in the coming months. Besides, the price of crude oil and natural gas has rallied substantially in the past few days. Brent, the international benchmark, rose to $83 while the West Texas Intermediate, WTI, rose to more than $80 for the first time in years. Natural gas prices have also surged to more than $6.22, meaning that the trend will continue as the winter season nears. The AUD USD also rose as investors reacted to the latest interest rate decision by the Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA. The bank decided to leave interest rates unchanged at 0.1%. It expects to implement the first interest rate hike in 2024. At the same time, the central bank decided to leave its quantitative easing and yield curve control policies intact. Later today, the main catalyst for the pair will be the estimate of American jobs by ADP. Economists expect the data to show that the country's private sector added more than 428k jobs in September after adding 374k in the previous month. Still, historically, the data from ADP tends to differ substantially from the official data. The pair will also react mildly to a statement by Rafael Bostic of the Fed. AUD-USD Forecast 
the AUD-USD pair rose to a high of 0.7300. On the 4-hour chart, the 25-period and 50-period moving averages have made a bullish crossover pattern. The pair has also risen to the 50% Fibonacci retracement level while the relative strength index, RSI, has risen from 32 to 60. The price is also risen above the pivot point and is approaching the first resistance level. Therefore, the pair will likely keep rising as bulls target the next key resistance level at 0.7350, which is slightly above the first resistance. On the flip side, a move below 0.7250 will invalidate the bullish view.